Thank you for viewing this Danfoss Drive's technical support video. This video will discuss a VLT drive displaying an Alarm 60 external interlock or coast that appears in the display and the motor will not run. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Hello, my name is Jeff Olson and I'm part of the training department here at Danfoss Drives North America. Today we're going to talk about a common condition that prevents the drive and the motor from running and how to troubleshoot it. Alarm 60 external interlock or coast appears in the display status line and the motor will not run. Both the external interlock alarm and the coast status message is normally caused for the same reason. A digital input program for the value external interlock or coast inverse is not connected to 24 volts. When control voltage is removed from the terminal program for one of those two functions, the drive immediately cuts off all voltage to the motor and it will coast to an uncontrolled stop. These functions are commonly used as machine safety interlocks. The difference between the two functions is that removing the 24 volt control power from a terminal programmed as external interlock generates an alarm 60 that must be reset. Removing control power from a terminal programmed as coast inverse will not generate an alarm, but rather be indicated in the display status message line. The first step in troubleshooting is to determine which digital input is programmed for one of these two functions. In the default condition, all Danfoss VLT drives have digital input terminal 27 programmed as a safety interlock. If 24 volt control voltage is not applied to or removed from the terminal, the drive will not operate and the corresponding function will be displayed. It's also important to mention that the digital inputs are freely programmable and that a terminal other than 27 could also be programmed to one of these functions. If there are no digital inputs programmed for coast inverse, the command could be coming through serial communication. If you see wires connected to control card terminals 68 and 69, yet the display status word still indicates coast, try setting parameter 801 to the value digital only. Now let's take a look at the digital input programming. I'm going to go to main menu parameter group 5-1 digital inputs. This is the group where I want to check the programming of each of my six digital inputs. Starting with parameter 510, terminal 18, I notice it's set to the value start, so that's not causing our issue here. I'm going to use the down arrow and continue scrolling down through the remaining five inputs to see if any of them are programmed to either the value coast, inverse, or external interlock. Here we see that terminal 27 is set to coast inverse, which happens to be the default in 100% of Danfoss VLT drives, so that's certainly a good starting point, parameter 512. Currently, no control voltage is connected to terminal 27, hence the coast state. I also want to check that no other inputs are programmed to either of those values. In the event that you don't find any of your six digital inputs programmed to the value coast inverse, yet coast is still being displayed in the status line, it's possible that that command can be coming through serial communication. Try setting parameter 8-01 to the value digital only and see if the drive will run. After you've located which digital input is causing the issue, the next step is to address it so that the active fault or coast command can be cleared and the drive can resume normal operation. 24 volt control voltage is supplied to the VFD via control card terminals 12 or 13. The control voltage can be sourced to the digital input terminal of interest by means of a jumper wire or a normally closed contact. Alternatively, the function of the terminal can be changed so that there is no longer a need to apply voltage to the terminal. So now that we've identified the terminal that's causing the problem, terminal 27 in our example, we need to figure out how to address it. If you're troubleshooting this issue and it's an existing application, you need to look at the terminal and see if there's a control wire landing on it. 
If there is control wiring landed on the terminal, then you need to find out why the control power is not getting to that terminal. You can use parameter group 16 to help identify whether or not there's voltage on the corresponding terminal. So I'm going to go into group 16 here, data readouts, and go into 16-6 inputs and outputs. Here we see a binary representation of all the digital inputs. I have a switch box here wired between terminal 12, 24 volt control power, and digital input 27. When I close this switch applying the power to the terminal, I see that this bit here representing digital input 27 changes to a 1. That means that 24 volts is on that input and the input's active. Turning the switch off, removing the voltage, and that bit changes to a 0. So if there is a 1 there, it means that control voltage has been applied to that input. If this is a new installation, you need to decide whether or not you want to wire in this interlock circuit. Now, there are two ways to disable it if you choose not to. First of all, you can simply place a jumper wire between terminals 12 or 13 and the corresponding terminal, thus constantly applying voltage on the terminal and disabling it. Alternatively, you can program the function of the corresponding terminal to no operation, which will remove the functionality. So here I'm going to change the value of 27 from external interlock to the value no operation. Now at this point, without control voltage on the input, I'm still able to clear the alarm or the coast condition. Be aware that if you do decide to disable the input, please be aware of the associated risks. Hopefully the information we provided in this video helps you troubleshoot your problem or complete your startup with your Danfoss VFD. Thanks for watching. Here are some review points for an Alarm 60 external interlock or coast that appears in the display and the motor will not run. Number one, both the external interlock A60 alarm and the coast status message are typically caused by the same issue. A digital input has been programmed for seven external interlock or two coast inverse in parameter group 5-1 and the corresponding terminal is not connected to 24 volts DC. Number two, a digital input program for seven external interlock and not connected to 24 volts DC will generate an external interlock A60 alarm. Number three, a digital input program for two coast inverse and not connected to 24 volts DC will only display the coast status with no alarm indication. Number four, all VLT drives have digital input terminal 27 programmed by default as a safety interlock which must be connected to 24 volts DC for the drive to run a motor. Number five, any digital input can be programmed as a safety interlock. Number six, a coast command can also be sent via serial communication. If wires are present on terminals 68 and 69, try setting parameter 8-01 to 1 digital only. And number seven, Go to parameter group 5-1 digital inputs to view or edit the programming of the six digital inputs. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326. 3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.